This is bull That feels terrible. <laughs> Testing gator grip today, Joby. That's right, the as seen on TV miracle tool that claims to replace your whole toolbox. But could it possibly live up to that promise? Well, I sure don't know, but I think we should find out. Huge thanks to eBay Motors for sponsoring today's tool party. We all know that eBay Motors is the go-to site for parts and cars, but did you know that they also have tools? All right, Job, let's see here. Uh, do we have our welding stuff? Check. Okay, do we have our gasket scraper? Chuck. Okay, do we have our hammer? Chuck? That's not what we ordered, right? It's not? Well, no problem. eBay Motors has a money back guarantee, so if it's not the tool we ordered, well, we can just get our money back. It's as simple as that. Whatever you need, eBay Motors is here to help. So click the link in the description to shop the tools you see in today's video, plus a whole lot more. Joe, let's get back to the show. Let's, Jerry. Check this out. Whoa, you're so good at that. <laughs> so what exactly is a gator grip, Mr. Zach Job? I don't know. Let's uh, see what their infomercial has to say. Watch, no matter what size fastener. Oh. Not no matter oh. what size fastener. <laughs> gator grip replaces a complete toolbox and fits in your pocket. Did you hear that? All those tools in there, throw them out. Pitch them. This man is using a regular socket set. He has to change with every bolt. What an idiot. Oh, what a stupid ass. But this man is using the Gator Grip. Gator Grip is strong enough to handle up to 150 foot pounds of torque. It can remove recessed, odd shaped, even damaged nuts and bolts. Odd shaped? This will work on. Never mind. <laughs> All you need is the Gator Grip that fits over 1,000 nuts, bolts, over and fasteners. Over 1,000 nuts, bolts, and fasteners. Big claims. Uh, miracle tool indeed. Not only does this Gator Grip claim that it can replace your whole toolbox, but it can do it on the cheap. These cost, what, 10 bucks? 10 bucks a pop. These things have been available forever. You can pick them up uh, at plenty of hardware stores. I think we all have a pretty good idea of how they work. It's just a bunch of metal sticks in there on basically a spring system. When you put it on top of a nut, the rods that the nut hits move out of the way and it grips and twists. It'll just accept a lot of different size fastener heads, which is cool as long as it can turn them. In theory, this is actually a good idea. Yeah. But I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, oh man, that's so smart. <laughs> when I first got one of these as a kid, I used it once and it didn't work on the thing I was using and then guess where it went? Junk drawer. Junk drawer. <laughs> yeah, I think these live in probably about 60, 70% of the junk drawers junk in, America. in America. Right. Today we're gonna be testing these things in a bunch of ways. We're gonna do all the tests from the infomercial. Then we're gonna see if these things can work on cars, like if you were stuck on the side of the road and this was all you had. Right. And then we're gonna take them to the point of failure, see when they break. This is why you bought 10 of these things. Yes. We're gonna find out if these really replace the whole toolbox. What are you thinking? Probably not. <laughs> All right, so we have recreated that sick infomercial. I've always wanted to be in an infomercial. Well, you know what? This is like the next best thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get it square on there. Give it its best shot. I'm not even gonna look. Cake. No problem. Well, now the great thing is you can move right up to the 916 slag bolt without even changing sockets. Let's see if she can do it. There you go. Pass. Normally you gotta use your hands for wing nuts, not when the gator grip shows up. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a pass too. You made it look way funnier, but. <laughs> Ooh, pass. Drill the hole down in there, counter, counter suck, suck it. Hole. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Dude, are you kidding me? Like, look at that. You don't have a ton of surface area to yeah. grip onto with that. Now we got one that's even slightly bigger. My turn. All right. Chewed up the old head a little bit. Yeah, that's when it skipped. Dude, I love that wobbles. It's fun. I mean, she's through the back. She's through the back. Look at that. Not bad. Put them all in, took them all out. Yeah. Looks like brand new. Mine's got some pins uh, recessing themselves. Ooh, they stick a lot now. Yeah, it's definitely a little hurt, it seems. But you know why that would do that? Why? If the pins are bent and they can't go back Oh, straight. that's a good point. Right, and that pin is bent, look. You see a bent pin? Yep. Well, that didn't take too terribly much. <laughs> so what do you think? Does it pass, does it fail? It did the things, but it killed the socket. I say pass. 
so one of the examples in that beautiful infomercial was doing some strut tower nuts. Yeah, they're doing some suspension work. Uh -huh. So we're gonna put it to the test, see if we can loosen uh, a nut on the top of the coilovers on the E36. And then we're gonna try some various fasteners around the car to see how this would do in various different roadside emergency situations. Well, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> you know, I didn't really think of that. The depth that depth you get is, is very shallow. Right. Holy crap. That's maybe what, quarter of an inch? That's really all you get. You basically can't do anything with a stud through it. Right. Bolts only. So that's a big old fail. <laughs> so let's pick some other stuff. Okay, here's, here's a 10 millimeter. Super common size if you're working on cars. I think we can all agree. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Wow, uh -oh. <laughs> it doesn't seem to like the 10 mil so far. Is it not doing it? It ain't doing it. Get out of here. I'm not getting out of here. No way. Not even close. Let me try. Like, I think there's gonna be certain sizes oh. that... There we go. It was just a user error. Well, that's gonna happen when you're working with me, bud. <laughs> I was putting a little bit more pressure on it, maybe. You know, because I'm buffer than you. Yeah, you're strong. Because they're spring-loaded, it pushes back on you. So if it doesn't have a good enough contact surface, it's gonna slip. <laughs> See how one of the pins? Oh yeah, you just <laughs> dug right over. Dug right into that. This is not a one size fits all. So it pushes and depresses pins according to whatever size bolt you stick in it. Right. And then it tries to make the closest mating to that it can. Right, but that's not always perfectly 11 mils or right. 10 mils or whatever it is. So because of that, you get some that will kind of go in at an angle. And then as you start to put torque to it, drag across the head of the bolt. Right. So kind of did a little damage to the bolt. Right. A regular socket would not do that. You want to know what I want to see now? What? A real small little guy. Oh, like this guy? Seven millimeter or quarter inches is what it says it can do at its smallest. That's a quarter inch. Okay. And that's pretty easy to get to. Right, all right, let's try it. It's so tiny that it's not getting good contact with it. It's not getting that gator grip. Oh man. Well, so for that, that's a big old ass. I'm gonna call that a failure. Let's go to the trunk, hit that battery. See if we can take off a battery terminal. This is something that you would really commonly do if you have a dead battery or, you know, need to change your battery or whatever. But I can already tell you right now. Whoa! Who's it? This one looks pretty easy, okay. Oh, look at that. No problem. No problem. Nothing in the way of you getting on there nice and good. There you go, look at that, popped off. Pop it off, baby. All right, well now let's step things up a little bit. I mean, one of the most common roadside issues that you're gonna be dealing with is a flat tire. Yeah. So if you gotta take a wheel off and put your spare on, can the Gator Grip do it? Okay. Let's see if you got the muscles for this. Oh, Watch those knuckles, bud. Oh. She cammed over there. Oh, I <laughs> see it just ejecting itself as yeah, you turn. It just wants to it come out. off. This is bullshit. Stupid hole. And then you can never really use two hands on the tool or whatever. You have to have a hand holding it on. That feels terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so we were able to break it loose with a standard 17 mil socket. It wasn't easy. Holy sh**. But it got it off. Yeah, it's almost like a specific <laughs> socket <laughs> is like better. Bent the pins a little bit. They got smashed in between there. Did a little bit of damage to the bolts too. I mean, they're not yeah. the same as they were. Right. Sorry, Max. Sorry, Max. I think we call this a fail. Yeah, dude, this is a major fail. And this is so irritating too. Imagine you're on the side of a road, yeah. cars blasting by you, and this thing is pushing you into the oncoming traffic. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a moment of silence for all the people who've died because of the Gator Grip. Yeah, let's. Gator Grip holds on tight to finish the job quickly and easily. Another claim that they've made is that they can reach up to 150 foot pounds. Yeah. We've got a few different fasteners, so we can put that to the test. These are all welded to this angle iron, so they can't move. So we're gonna put torque on them with a torque adapter. We'll measure the peak torque of when they cam over. Claims 150 foot pounds, but I'm not so sure. So we'll see what we get. I think it already went over. <laughs> we got a good grip on 10, it. 10, 11. I don't know why it's turned so much. Okay, so we're just rounding that thing off because the uh, the rods are just kind of skipping over. They're not getting a real good grip on the head of the bolt. On that, we peaked at 11.6 foot-pounds of torque. So that is to say the most torque you could put on a 10 millimeter fastener if you were putting one on your car is 11.6 foot-pounds. Interesting. I'm gonna call that a fail. That's a pretty low number. Didn't get to 150. Not even close. All right, you ready? Yeah, ready. And we're skipping and we're stuck. 
32.4 foot pounds. That sucks. Yeah, that's no good. This is the 14 millimeter bolt and uh, it's gripping pretty well. So we're gonna add some leverage to it. It's 80, 90, 98.5. 98 98.5 degrees. Not bad. We're right. starting to get there. 100 foot pounds basically. And one other thing that's interesting is that a 14 mil bolt sits directly on that set of pins. Mm -hmm. So it pushes down an even number from the center. Mm -hmm. That helps just to get a good grip on the bolt. About yep. as good a one as we can get. Yep. Okay, now we've got a 15. <laughs> <laughs> tighten her up, tighten her up. 150. 158.2. Heck yeah. All right, All right Gator. Not chomp, bad. chomp. Ooh, a little pin damage. We got a little pin bending there, huh? Luckily, we have All a bunch right, of these. Yeah, God. Now I'm interested to see how it does on a 17. Right. Might be a little bit of an in-between size for it. Okay, 90, 100, 120, 126, 130, 138. Hey. Wow. Uh, 142 foot-pounds. Honestly, pretty similar. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. I don't think it was going to fit in as well as the uh, the last one did. Yeah. Any damage? Oh, yeah, and we really kind of mashed this one. This one was Ooh, great. she's not springing back no more. This is just a really shallow head 17. I think this is actually an old flywheel bolt. The gator grip isn't gonna have a whole lot to grip onto. Here we go. We're at 20. Oh. Mm, she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that at all. We got the 60 foot pounds, 59.9. Final stop along the way Ooh. is a 19 mil. Fits perfect inside this thing because all the pins are pushed down at that point, and yeah, now it's just we're a regular just using, socket. Yeah, 19 millimeter socket. Oh, Whoa, overloaded the equipment. We're at 162.1 foot pounds. Beat the 150 foot pounds that they claim, but of course it did. It's basically just a socket. It's a socket at that yeah. point. At so. the high end of its range, it's just a, a worse socket that doesn't have as much depth as a normal socket would. Uh, how do we do here? Well, like we thought, the smaller bolts doesn't have enough contact surface for yeah. it to, you know, reach that 150 foot pound claim. And honestly, their 150 foot pound claim is kind of vague. It just says it can withstand up to. It did do a decent job of rounding them off though. Oh yeah. Each and every bolt is, is super messed up. All of these are broken that I have in my hand. All these pins are depressed and the springs are not ejecting them back up. It's not like we were like, really testing these all that hard. Yeah, we just did infomercial stuff. The question for me is, does it replace the toolkit? Am I gonna throw away three drawers of this toolbox and replace it with one of those? Let this be an indicator of what I think. Drop the tools? <laughs> no, drop that. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. It's gonna frustrate you more than anything else. And that's one of the worst things when it comes to tools and really why we do this show, right? It's like, mm -hmm. what's a tool that is going to be easy to use, worth your money, and not give you a freaking like screaming aneurysm. <laughs> yeah, when you're working on stuff. It's just going straight to the tool party graveyard, dude. No freaking way. Bury it. <laughs> if you're curious, hey, what are you guys gonna do with these used Gator Grips? Well, we're gonna give them to our Donut Underground members, but we're also gonna give them 50 bucks uh, because- we feel bad. Yeah, we're gonna feel bad, but also we'll sign these and uh, give them to you as well. So this was a fun one, putting some As Seen on TV tools to the test. And if there's any other As Seen on TV tools you wanna see us test, Throw them in the comments. If you want some sick merch like what Job is wearing right here, a new Buff Horse Ranch tee. Look at that. Buff Horse Ranch. Think it's sick. Go to donutmedia.com. You can also follow us on Instagram at Donut Media. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. Follow Job at Zach Job. And we'll see, see you guys next week. next week. Yeah, baby.